everyone welcome back to my channel celebrating with amber today we are going to put together a gift basket so this gift basket is actually meant to go as a prize for a galentine's day get together uh, my sister-in-law is doing so she asked me to put together a gift basket so that someone can win it as a big prize with all the special women in her life getting together. Now, I know we're a little late for Valentine's Day. I know we're probably a little late for Galentine's Day, but I just want you to remember that this type of gift basket can be used for anybody who's special in your life any time of year. It doesn't have to be around Valentine's Day. The theme and the ideas that I put together into it was basically like self-love and self-care. And so the receiver of this can just have a spa night, have some just time to be able to spend on themselves and you can do that any time of year not just around galentine's day so i just want to do a quick overview of everything that i'm putting into the basket and then i'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me put it together and then we'll see what it looks like at the very end i'll just tell you from here most of the items are actually from dollar tree with a couple items a few items from five below and one item from Target, I think. Um, and then a book that I actually was able to pick up for a great price at the thrift store. And so let me show you everything I got. Oh, a couple items from Target. So first is this candle that was from Target, but any candle can work, you know, that just fits the color or the theme. This is a name brand item that I was able to actually find at Dollar Tree. Um, the Sukin and it's a facial mask so really excited that I was able to find that to put that in here this is one of the little new sets that they had currently at Dollar Tree called Everlasting Love it's a body wash body lotion and body scrub so really excited to find all of those to be able to add into this basket with the love theme this is just a hair um, things pull your hair back while you're doing face masks washing your face doing all the things we have a color lip balm that's like in the shape of a rose so it fit the theme perfectly a nice cup to add in the water flavoring anything you want to be able to put in there I did a cute little sign it says here's to strong women may we know them may we be them and may we raise them because it's Galentine's Day it's all about you know being strong and togetherness of women a back massager, some rose oil face primer serum. Let's see, we have these two little fun things to be able to just um, use the on your eyeballs, not your eyeballs, but your eyes um, for some relaxation. A refillable bath brush for in the shower. This, you know, for you put it in the, the refrigerator and make it nice and cool to be soothing. I wanted to add some candy in there so we have some cherry filled hearts and I'm going to toss those into this jar. This was also from Target. It's a cute little Galentine's Day vouchers. I thought that would be really fun since it's literally a Galentine's Day party. We have some nail files, a bath comb for, well, shower comb, exfoliating facial mitt. We have a body scrub mitt underneath here. We have some lip gloss, a scrunchie, a hair um, clip. This is a shampoo or head brush. I love that when I use it in the shower. Bubble bath, body wash, under eye masks is the back one, and a sheet mask. So just like face mask things. And then a cute little notebook that says small notes for big ideas. A guided journal that's the ABC's of self love love that and then this is what I got from the thrift store it's the Rachel Hollis girl stop apologizing kind of like a, a girl positive kind of self-help type book oh and then this big one over here is a, just a nice cozy blanket so you know you could be sitting under your blanket having some sort of yummy drink writing in your journal or reading your book well, you have a face mask on. So, you know, just really self-love, self-care, relaxation was the goal here. So um, that is, you know, just a quick overview of everything. And then we'll just jump over here. Here's the basket that I picked up. I grabbed it at the thrift store, actually. I got some decorative shred to put in the bottom. I got the bag and the ribbon to tie it off with. So I am hopefully gonna fit everything that is right here 
sorry if this is making you dizzy, into the basket that's over here. So that's the goal. So I'm gonna set up my camera, um, hopefully in the best view I can, so that you can watch me put together this basket. We're gonna figure out what kind of the best angle is, and then um, get it all put together so you can see it all put together. So I will be right back with that. start my baskets by putting the big things in there first because they're going to take up the most room. You saw me contemplate the blanket's pretty big. I was debating if I wanted to keep it out of the basket and put it in front of or behind it. I decided that if it would fit I wanted it in the basket and then I did the books and everything that's just bigger along the back before fitting in all the smaller items all around it. <laughs>
a basket this full, you're going to have some items that are going to give you some struggles. And this body wash was one of them just because of the weird shape of it. So I just had to keep playing around with everything and figure out the way that it would fit best into the basket. It may not be the absolute best way to show everything, but you know, you just got to make it all work. goal when doing a gift basket really is to have all the items show in there because you do the work to pick them all up you want them all to show but there are times that a basket is just too full and what's fun is whoever gets this gift basket will just keep finding surprises as they're looking into it so it's okay that there's some things hidden here and there and there
Now this basket is pretty big. It's pretty full. I didn't think it was going to be so big that it was going to give me a struggle getting it into the plastic bag, but it did give me a little bit of a struggle. But once I got it in there and got it all fluffed out, it works just fine. But it did take a little bit of work for some reason to get this basket into this bag. the finished basket. I am just going to get some tape. I'm going to tape back these corners before it's fully, fully done. But I struggled, but I fit everything in there. I missed one thing. This didn't end up in there, but that's okay because um, one of my subbies on my other channel, Amber's To-Do List, mentioned that it wasn't very good. She had some struggles with it. So I figured, you know, I might as well just not put it in there because it won't fit really all that well anyway. I really try to make it so you can see everything. 
Um, you can't, but that's okay. You can get the gist of basically everything that's in there. I was unsure if I was going to be able to get the blanket in or not, and I'm glad that I could. It just looks like a basket full of amazingness. So I really wanted this Galantine vouchers to be in the front. I tried it down here. I kept flopping forward, so that didn't work out the way I had envisioned it, but that's okay. So this is just how the whole thing turned out. Thank you so, so much for being here. I want to remind you again that if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join this YouTube family over here on Celebrating with Amber. I have some more really fun videos planned um, coming up in the very near future. So please, please join in and um, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.